but the entertainment still goes on between you because you you do the marsh and best uh, road show is a really very particular brand of football comedy. In fact, I've got a clip of you in a, in a recent show in London. Oh, no idea. <laughs> there's this fellow, he dies and he goes to heaven. And he gets up to the pearly gates and there's St. Peter standing at the pearly gates. And the guy says, well, can I come in? And St. Peter says, no. He said, you, we can't let you in. You've, uh, you've been a drinker, you've been a womanizer, and you've been a gambler. And the guy says, well, you were drinking. Is there anything I can do to repent? For a change. <laughs> so St. Peter looks at him. He said, well, there is a test. I'll give you a test, he said. You see down there, he said, the Atlantic Ocean. Over there, he said, there's a bucket and spade. He said, I want you to empty the Atlantic Ocean with that bucket and spade. So the fellow looks at St. Peter. He said, is there anything else I can do to get into heaven? So St. Peter thinks. And he says, well, he says, there is one more thing. He said, look down there. He said, see that footballer? Name's Georgie Best. He said, if you can stop him drinking, gambling, and screwing, I'll let you in. So the fellow says, let me have another look at that bucket and spade. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm a bucket, Todd. Another, another drink? Well, last time I was on the Morgan show. You want to do the Morgan show? <laughs> I want to do Morgan. OK. Arby, Arby Terry. So, uh, what do you do with your time these days, George? Screw. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Georgie Best. <laughs> My best pal. Well, the thing about that is that, that, that anybody else in the world doing a show like that, going on TV, doing a show like that, I mean, that would be it. That would be the end of their career <laughs> finished. <laughs> but for Georgie Best, it relaunched him. Yeah. And now we, we go around, we do these shows and after dinner uh, speeches, and we tell that story. And people love it. <laughs> In fact, you're back to Belfast next weekend. Yeah, it's always a wee bit special to go home. And Belfast yeah. crowds are great. I mean, that. So he tells me. <laughs> <laughs> so he promises. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be un unforgettable. <laughs> so he says. So he says, yeah. <laughs> Winston Churchill. His name's Rodney Marsh. From England. Oh. Now, well, what's the damage there? On the house. That's all I have, Georgie. Drink it later. Classic kind of novel, and the author's second name is an English city, you know, like Marsh, Rodney Marsh. How are we doing for time, driver? Uh, just a couple of minutes now, Mr. Best. Is it an English novel? No, I think it's American. It's set in America. No, but it could be written by an Englishman. Yeah, it could be, but I think it's a Yank. I might be wrong now. Look, it doesn't matter if it's English or Chinese. It's set in America and it's... Oh, it's another clue. It's about dogs, huskies. Do you know what it is, driver? I'm oh, sorry, Mr. Best. I wasn't listening. It's an English novel written by a Chinese husky and it's set in America. If you're going to piss about, George, I might as well do me crossword. Who's <laughs> <laughs> pissing about? You're always pissing about. <laughs> well, we're here, gentlemen. So, many words is it? 
three. Now, four words for the Downing Street years. Not even Luke. Not form, you idiot. Fucker. Bollocks. Who's talking? I don't know, George. Fuck is he? Probably where he always is, up someone where it hurts. <laughs> oh, they fucking tonight. Hey, he's a bestie. All right, Jans. Ah, Tommy boy. What you been up to? We busy tonight. To capacity. They're a bit rabid. <laughs> You'll feel right at home, won't you? Shut <laughs> up, Rodney. Listen, bestie. Uh, there's a few women out there, so stun the language. What? Mind the expletives. What? He means don't fucking swear. Yank it up. Keep it in the back pocket. Know what I mean? You're not uh, fucking serious, are you? <laughs> Pretty funny, George. Uh, good evening. Anyway, they say, uh, they say you played John Murray uh, twice in your career. Once on the way up, once on the way down. It's good to be back. Anyway, uh, Georgie loved North America. Uh, he saw this big sign and it said, Drink Canada Dry. So he did. Oh, is this on? Jesus Christ. Anyway, he takes uh, Georgie up a bottle of Don Perigno. Georgie's lying there, sprawled out in a big four-poster bed. Georgie, do you need oh. anything? Yeah. Is this on? A suit of armor. Anyway, 25 grand in cash, right? And a uh, bottle of Don Perigno. And Miss Ward shimmies out of the toilet with a C3 leg. Is here? Good, but Tanya. Nylon stocking strangler. Well, why he's choking that gag? <laughs> <laughs> All right, George. Rodney. So, Paddy, he looks from George. Rodney the George is the demographic manager of the hotel. To the mountain of cash on the bed. You get over it. Can I get you anything? Then back to George as he hands up the Don Perigno shampoo. Get us a wee brandy. With that. Yeah, to the beautiful blonde Miss World in the see through language. Yeah, it's a small blonde as well. Right. I'll <laughs> oh, make it a large one. We'll keep the blonde small. Yeah, back to George. <laughs> and you know what he says to him? Looks like it's going to be a long night. You heard the man, a blonde and a brandy. <laughs> he says, George, <laughs> what? Uh, David, tell you about the bingo lads. Do you mind if I ask you a question? This is Pat. The stand up bingo. What the fuck is stand up bingo? Where did it all go wrong? Free Georgia. Well, the last time I heard sounds like this was Fuck the You better tell him about the bingo. You're a jet. You've been a bunch of drunken bastards in a room. Yeah. Here comes the Yeti. And I'm out of here. There you go, big man. Ladies and gents, the boy has come home. So a big East Bell class welcome to your knees for Rodney Lawrence. Sweet class, let's play the old bingo, you mean. And our boy, Hello, George Evans. Hi, George. Call of the Wild. What? The answer was Jack London. You have to call of the Wild. It's called the wild literature. George, this is serious. Mm. Matt, Matt Busby, the boss, is dead. What? He passed away last night. Georgie? Mm. Just take your time.
Well shot. What do you think, Mr. Bishop? Osby. Come on, you. Have found a genius, Bishop. A genius? You're not sure he was too skilly. Genius. I've got a lad place for the Panthers Guild right here in Belfast. Your son's gonna be making news, not printing it. How's he gonna make out across the water? He's only a lad. Let him go, Dickie. Let him go. You know this fellow Bishop, the scout we used in Belfast? I do. Useful eye he's got, too. Hey, he'd be the conservative type, do you think? Cautious with his recommendations. Why? <laughs> you pass your eye over this. I think I found you a genius. Stop. Bob Bishop, stop. I think you'd best take a look at the land. Good morning. What's your name, son? Best, sir. George Best. Well, you a bugger before you start with a name like that, are you not, boy? Anyway, there are no favorites here. No one's bigger than the club. Remember that. What's your name, kid? Uh, Eric McMorty, sir. Right. You'll both be assigned digs. You'll both join the youth team, and you will both eat, sleep, and shit football. I have a fire in my belly for this game. It's a beautiful game. Harry Greg here, we'll show you around. Remember one thing. It's a beautiful game. There you are, boys. able to make the ball do whatever he wants it to. I hate making predictions about these things when the boy is so young. But this boy's got everything to make a great player. And some little time ago, Tom Finney thought he was the best young player he'd seen for many years, and I agree with him. Well, I appreciate your interest in his talent, Mr. Busby, on that, but... Uh, well, I suppose my question is, would he not be better to come on home for a bit? I've still kept that place for him at the Printer's Guild. Yes, he's been here, what, now? Two or three years now. And that's right, nearer three. And he can be contracted professionally now. But by rights, you should have consulted us. He'd be on professional wages. He is a minor, technically. I'd like to keep playing him on the youth side as well, but keep your eye on the bench when we play West Brom Saturday. West Bromwich Albion? Making his debut here today for Manchester United against West Brom. Nice control. Beautiful football by the young outside right, George Best, the boy from Belfast. With the Beatle haircut. And he slips that tackle. Very skillful. Comes close, does it, son? No, boss. Nothing. I know where I am here. Look at this place. It was our hopes, our dreams. We exist in every corner of this place. We meet each other every day. The ripples of ourselves. Oh, Georgie. You have the ball at your feet, son. Life is at your feet. 
Nothing else exists. Nothing. I didn't want it to end. Johnson, next Saturday comes quick in you think. And the next. What a win! 5-1 against Burnley. And I'm sure convinced that in years to come I can say with some authority that I saw George Best score his first League Cup goal. Watch out for George Best. What a goal. What a win for Manchester United. Did you feel it, Lomar? Did you feel it? There's nothing else, Lomar. Nothing else. Let's not get carried away now, Bestie, eh? Let's go back out, Lomar. You what? But you and me, let's go back out and kick her on. Georgie, boy, listen to me. Bestie. I get paid 100 quid a week to train for four days and then run my ass off on a Saturday afternoon. Sod it, Lomar. Sod it, too. Who stuck me in? Hey, hey, Nobby, Nobby, what? let's go back out. You and me, kick her on. Penalties. Someone <laughs> wagged. Best of you, tell me what I do. You find a blonde with the tits of your dreams, you shag our brains out. <laughs> I wouldn't come close. Don't be messing with my gear. I'm serious, dude. I'm serious. Lowell out to best. Yes, to best. Oh, beautiful football by the young outside right. Best again. Fine ball. And yes, good goal. Well deserved goal. Brilliant play by the young George Best. They only mention George. And the defender, Ken, makes to bring him down. Dirty tackle. George heads on towards goal. How he kept the ball, I'll never know. He keeps the ball, comes down the centre, straight towards me, past me, and I turn, and I stop. And I can't help myself, you know? And I'm shouting, George, I'm shouting, you greedy little... What a goal. Charlton missed a chance with the header, and Busby might have settled for 1-0 against Chelsea had the goal they wanted not been made by the brilliance of Best. Law leapt to head it home. As for Best, and his devastating application of touchline skill, he was the knife that cut the heart out of Chelsea's momentum. When in the 32nd minute, he put United in front with a goal that is a credit to his determination. At the end, they stood and acclaimed him. They gave him their hearts because he had won them with every bewitching swerve, every flick of his magic feet. 2-0 to Manchester. Who will ever forget Best's brilliance today and what a force to be sending to do battle in Europe. I'm away, right, Mrs. Fulwell. Don't be too late, son. Tonight, we take on one of the greatest club sides in the world today. Benfica has a team peopled by players, most of whom play for one of the strongest national teams in the game. They've beaten us before, 5-0, and they've got you, Savior. Well, it's the quarterfinals. If we win today, it'll be the best result for a British side in decades. And if we lose, we'll be roasted by the balls when we get home. <laughs> now, maybe you know all this already. Never gave a thought. I mean, then brain power is not what you're best noted for, is it? <laughs> and if you don't, I don't know where you've been for the last few weeks. And if you do... Oh, bestie, will you please stand up? There's a good boy. Put it on straight. <laughs> and if you do, forget you ever did. Tonight. When you get that blast of light between the eyes coming out of that tunnel, just remember you're on your way out to play football. No more, no less, just a game. Play it tight for the first 20 minutes, get the measure on. Then open the throttle gently and let her rip. That roar from the Portuguese crowd, your engine.
a place in the 1966 European Cup semi-final. Manchester United take on the favourites, Benfica, the Stadium of Light. And our favourite, Best, is in love with the ball. And oh, a goal! It's a goal! Deadly play by Best. Extraordinary. What a flow to Benfica. And here comes Best again. What a player this boy is. What a player. Yes, Best again. Oh, beautiful goal. The brilliance of this boy tonight. And Lord, can't contain his delight. Wonderful. Dalton to Connolly. Nice pass. Beautiful strike. And it's a goal. They lost another to Manchester's mass. Best pass, and it's Clearon. Yes, Clearon for the fourth goal. Fantastic 4-1 so far. What a result here tonight. And Charlton has been the midfield hero of this match. Yes, he's free. And yes, what a coup de grace. 5-1 to Manchester United, who meet Real Madrid in the semi-finals. Will this be the year that an English club side first fights a successful European campaign? Okay, I want you all in bed after this, boys. Last one of the night. Bobby, what the fuck? Yeah, that's Thanks very much. Toast, boys. You know what I mean. Manchester United. All the way. All the way. Oh, Jesus. You have another. Come on. Looky here, boys. We're on the front page already. Mm. What's it say? Mm. Greatest performance by a British footballer ever, says Diario. Yeah! I don't believe it. That's very flattering. Who's Diario? Eh? See? Point. A beetle called Best a smashes Benfica. You hear that, Best? <laughs> that, that's you hear that? That's, uh, that's, yes. uh, <laughs> hey, call that. You can have your picture taken with me if you want. Do this. Boy, it's a ha, is it no? Aye. That will uh, come in very useful in Manchester, that will. Just a hold up, boys. Come on. Foolish <laughs> boy. the fun and go match go. Cookstown sausages are the best family sausages. Davis wrote to me last week and asked me for my autograph. And when you think that she... He has a great talent. It's a short career, this football malarkey. He's earning now, but spend it haste, repent at leisure. That's my motto. I'm in the business of making sure that George Best will still be in business in ten years' time. When it's all over. He's a businessman now. This is his third boutique. That's a business. A chain, not a hobby. A clothesline, so to speak. Which one do I sign? <laughs> you can't know everything at his age, but he's nobody's fool. Look, take a look at him. He's a good-looking chap. The girls like him. He's a football hero. The boys like him. To be frank, I could hang him upside down on stairwells and sell him to bungalows. <laughs> Get him out there. Yeah. 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 All right, 
He's a bloody diamond, boss. Ah, uh, he's a diamond, all right. But at what cost, you man? At what cost? We've climbed Everest to get here. It's taken 11 years. The first English football club to reach the European Cup final. To win it, I'll take the very best from each and every one of you. Well, tonight, you five of the best playing again. And five wild cards the world has yet to see. All world class. I remember Cruz and Kalana last time. Dirty so-and-so's the two of them. And the Eusebio will be up to his usual tricks. Stick to him like glue, Nobby. You all right, George? Yeah. We all know these guys can play lovely football. But we're not going to allow them to do that today. I want to see you running at them, harassing them, knock them out of their stride. Let us dictate the game tonight, eh? I want to see them chasing so hard that Eusebio comes off that pitch at the end, breathing through his posterior. Mr. Ref, sir. Start inspection. Mr. Basby. Gentlemen, please. Thank you, Mr. Best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. of expectant football fans packed the stands here tonight at Wembley for this, the 1968 European Cup final between Manchester United and Benfica of Portugal. The moment of truth in the battle for mastery of European soccer as United prepare to take on their foes from the 1966 quarter-final. Bobby Charlton and Kaluna exchange the team pennants. United playing in blue kickoff. Charlton takes the first touch, launching the attack. And Bess has the ball. And he's down. Oh, what a dreadful tackle. But Benfica know best. They blame him for 66. And he's down again. They're taking no chances with Best tonight. And another tackle. Savage tackle after savage tackle. Styles falling foul of the referee. Novello lets that one go. And we're near the end of an unglamorous first half. No score by either side. More lads, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! You're offering yourself to them, giving them a target. Right? Get yourself out of there. Make room, son. Use your bloody elbows. Get between now, get between. Come on! Come on! We are dead from the neck up! This, this is the most important game of your lives, and you're sleepwalking. Now, let's be intelligent, shall we? Let's use this bloody mush between our ears. Bestie, kid, Aston, <coughs> see the action, anticipate, make those bloody runs. Good boys. A, a bit of thought. We love those bastards, and they'll not bomb my granny's house again in a hurry. That serves me right. The Portuguese were neutral during the war. <laughs> well, pretend they bombed your granny's house, then. <laughs> right, boys. Forty-five minutes stand between you and immortality. Forty-five minutes of an English summer's night in front of an English crowd. This is your time. Your moment. My granny could look after herself. So nail the bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. The second half gets underway. Best puts the ball out to the wing. The centre's a beautiful one. And there's Charlton, and he heads it home. Fantastic for the fans. United one up in the 55th minute. And going all out for another. George Best is in terrific form. But so is Enrique. United won't be allowed to run away with the match. And Garcia equalises. One all and time running out. It is a wonder to stop that rocket, and very sporting of Eusebio, the Portuguese star. 
90 minutes up and still deadlock. The teams are weary, but the fans are not. An extra 30 minutes of play ahead and bumps, bruises and tired muscles ache like never before. But a wet sponge and a magic massage can work miracles. And so to the first half of extra time. What a 15 minutes this promises to be. Waiting to receive is the mighty best, and he's away! And, oh my goodness, what a goal! He simply walked the ball into the net. This is George Best at his very best. Fantastic goal. The Busby Babes are hammering Benfica. And Brown Kidd, the birthday boy, makes it three. How they cheer. A fourth for good measure and a mighty margin. Charlton makes it 4-1. But Best made the winner here tonight. remember that this is the finest moment in a footballing odyssey begun many years ago. What an achievement, triumph just ten years after Munich. Manchester United have won the European Cup. They're the supreme champions of Europe. At long last, Matt Busby, the maestro of Manchester United, has groomed the team great enough to beat Europe's best. He is the king of soccer. He's a never men all princes. And we all have a soft spot for this boy, Georgie Best. <laughs> On behalf of the directors, can I say to each and every one of you, congratulations. And from the bottom of my heart, may I thank every one of you players for what you've achieved here today. For Matt, for the club, for the fans, and the country. Tonight, a chapter is written. Tonight, a dream fulfilled. And tonight, we saw a boy become a man. Yeah. Men light the way for him. Yeah. I raise my glass to you all and I ask you to join me. For as an old manager friend once said to me, this game will either drive you to the madhouse or to drink. <laughs> and it's sure as hell not gonna drive me to the madhouse. <laughs> Cheers! It's just got to me a bit, you know. I know. It's ten years since Munich. Ten years we've been waiting for this, and look at me now. Jesus. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Bye bye. Hey, excuse me. Party. Credit! I'm dancing. That's not dancing, Credit. That's indecent exposure. What the bloody hell do you want, Law? Have you seen the man of many moods? Charlton, you mean? Hey, I'm listening all night. <laughs> Don't you think we should go and look for it? I'm dancing. <laughs> well, I'm asking.
putting together a posse. We're going to find Sir Robert. Excuse me. Why is he enjoying himself there? He's have to have been three places at once to check out Bresti. Bresti, I'm getting on it. Getting on it. Bresti, getting on it. Nobby! Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, hey, hey! I was just about to batter you. Save me then. Stole that. Uh, sorry to stop you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're fucking. Oh, you're fucking. 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 you Let anyone in, darling. Who is it, please? It's Mark Bosby, no Mark. It's Robert there. Don't open the bloody door, no Help me get to my feet first. I don't want him to see me like this. All right. I'll be right there, boss. So these are the men who conquered Europe. A big bunch of Jesses. I never had a sweetheart. No, this, this is my sweetheart. Rolls Royce, solid gold. It's like oak, solid oak, yeah? I don't need anybody but me. <laughs> Working-class tribes, <laughs> Georgie Best. <laughs> Excuse me, darling, but we're just we're just discussing a little bit of business here, all right? Who's your small friend? <laughs> His name's Rocky. Aren't you going to ask me to join you? Gentlemen, where's your manners? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm there. Absolutely. These I'm toilets. There you go. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh. Bye.
putting men on the moon. Will you take me there? Will you take me to the moon, Georgie? All the way. So, Mum, what do you think? Tap the face the fast, son. What are we doing, 50? Red streak with a kick, not to 60 and a whisper. All the way to the sun. Did you get there, son? Where, Mum? The sun. Yeah, I got there. Stay there, George. Don't let them pull you down. Some clown took her to task down at the club. Some bar stool professor sniping from inside his wee bubble of beer. About what? About you, son. What happened? She'd had a few. She'd shed them. What? With her tiny wee fist full of rage. Fucker. George Best, tonight, this is your life. Oh, leave us. Golden Boots for our golden boy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Best is training hard enough for drinking on the night shift. <laughs> Yourself. Sorry, boss. <clears throat> Sorry is for idiots, George. We could have done with you against Chelsea. Offside. You dropped. You're lowering the name of Manchester United. Be professional, or I'll get rid of you. A new approach. Something to capture the spirit of these effervescent times we live in. Something to capture you, George. You see, I'm not actually a designer. No, I find the designer in you. So, I've got to ask you a question. Far away. Who is George Best? Hmm? I'm sorry? Who are you? Look, mate, Ole wants a house. George Best. Puzzle, riddle, enigma. With a full-size snooker table. Yes. <laughs> you see, George? You are the signature of these times. You are an ogre of beauty. Genius does what it must, Fraser. Talent does what it can. Sure. Shall I take the roof off? Oh, oh my. Mm. I've tried to capture in the, in the fixtures and fitments, if you like, something of the character, something of the soul of our Georgie boy. Warhol would be proud, Fraser. Do you really think so? Mm-hmm. I think so. Mm. Probably. Definitely. What a way to go. Hey. Do you know what this is? He'll be the ruin of you, but have a good time. 
That's a bottle of wine. It's not only a bottle of wine. Hello there. It's a house. Chateau Monge or something. 52 years old. Friend of George? 150 squids a bottle. That's not a bottle. That's a bag. Yeah, that. Shall we? Let's see that crazy shit. Zandra? Yes, yep. Zandra. Where's George? What is this? The spasm of dead angels, huh? No grace but I'd sweat. Go! Nobby! Nobby, my boy, I've seen better fucking tax demands. Think I'm standing here for the good of my fucking health? Yeah, right, boss. Can't hear ya! Yes, boss. Go! Ah, best clearance. Let's prove that pigs can fly, huh? Go! Where it? Go! Oh, let's hear of a champion, a wonder horse, and his mate Dobbin. Go! There'll be some casualties, I promise you, those who can't cut it fitness-wise. Go! Sharpen up your attitude! I'll pitch as well! I'm telling you, that'll be the top! I said I wanted it to pass! Go! Come on, George. Come on, Dennis! Let's paint the town red. Today, a big match tomorrow. Beauty sleep. Bunch of fucking Jesse! Come on and take our hearts! Don't you, babe? Won't you give a lovely girl a good night kiss? You better join the key, darling. This is your doing, Rocky, you stinky bastard. It has to be poured continuously without a drop being spilled. True test of a man, this is. Precision, patience, panache. <laughs> Some wigs. Yeah. 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 That's boogie, baby. Love a piece of cute Well, darling, I'm for sale. <laughs> Definitely for sale. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Morning, George. Boss? The front door was open. You should be more careful. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I think it's time you left, sweetheart. Just call me, Georgie. Huh? 
I'm not going anywhere, George. Your poison. Another? Why don't you let me help you, George? I don't need help. You're drowning yourself in filth. I get what I deserve. Puke it all up, son. Puke up the poison, the crap they've been shoving down your throat. Puke! Puke! Until there's nothing left except the one thing they can't take away. And when you've done puking, when you've done crying, when you've done, get yourself dressing it back into work. We all miss you. Every day's a big day. Oh, come on. Eva says you'll pop the question. You know, the one that's suing you for breach of promise. Fuck Eva. Oh, she said you did that too. I never paid for it. Why should I start now? Any further comment? Yeah, sure. We arrange the following two words and make a well-known phrase. Off. Fuck. George, you smell like a fucking brewery, son. It's 10 o'clock in the fucking morning. Get wise. I like a night out with the boys, as you all know. But you fuck me and this team over Moonbeam, and I'll have those overactive nuts of yours on toast. Comprende? Comprende? Let's lose the clowns out, eh? Let's get kitted up and start sweating out that shite you were pouring down your throat all night. Wait a minute! I'm not finished. What's that? This is winnings. <laughs> That's a contradiction in terms, Georgie boy. Must be wants to see you upstairs yesterday. Missed him then. Get out my fucking sight, son. He'll be all right on his own. Never pass the ball anyway, greedy bugger. See that bag of dosh? I can tell my fucking roof with that. Nobby! Why don't you retract your fat little finger from fat Charlton's ass and let's get some work done around here? <laughs> Gossip's over, girls. Let's move it. Life! OK, George, we've got the press clamoring on this one, so yes or no answers. Do you know this Eva Harlestead girl? Oh, come on, boss, you see, <laughs> it's like this. Yes or no, straight answers. You ever met a girl called Eva Harlestead? Yes. Well, do you love her? <laughs> come on, boss. OK, no. What the hell are you going to marry her for? <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> I mean, shit! So, you spent the weekend at home alone, eh? Did you not spend the weekend at home alone, eh? Yes, uh, in bed with a touch of the flu. In bed with a touch of the flu. Right, no more questions. All right, just put out a three-liner to all the usual deaths. George Best spent last weekend at home alone in bed with a touch of the flu. 
There's no truth in the rumor that he is to wed Eva Harlstead. And he will be arrested for matches for the next six weeks as an internal disciplinary measure. You got that? Yes, sir. Good. Oh, Jesus, boss, come on. He can't buy a tongue, kid. He can't tame a girl. He can harness it and coax it and tease it into flight. Once it flies, you can only hope that it knows its way back home. But home isn't bars and heaving dance floors. It isn't hollow friends and backdoor women. Settle down, son. You need a home. A life, son. Hmm? Take six weeks to get yourself sorted. Boss. Six weeks suspension. Georgie's total done this one, right? She's the one. Angel in the forest, all that stuff. The first weekend, Georgie's away. There's Crush and Smith. Fucking Pitbull. Boom, wham, bam. Pitbull gets to fucking elf, right? And Georgie comes back. Crush and Smith, being the gentleman he is, he tells Georgie exactly what happened, right? How many times? What positions? The whole number, right? Georgie here says nothing. Not a fucking dicky bird, because that's the game. That is the game. But then him, he goes round the pad, gets the elf, has her out the fucking window, <laughs> he's holding her by the fucking ankles, <laughs> with a skirt round her fucking ears, right? And there's Georgie boy screaming blue fucking murder at this big white horse flapping in the wind. <laughs> Truth. That's the percent, eh, George? What happened to him then? Well, he got married. <clears throat> she gambled all his money and uh, shagged her brother. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I used to bump into him casino car price. He'd be standing there and the mascara running and the brains still scrambled and the pit bull still lurking. Only, only this time with a hatchet. <laughs> well, that <fucking laughs> <is> right. <laughs> uh, never mind, George. He doesn't know. I'm certain. I have one or two things to do before I go. I'm leaving him a little goodbye present. I will. Don't stop an army. Well, bestie, I must make tracks. <laughs> it's been, as always, forgettable. <laughs> nah, seriously. You mind how you get it. I always get it. You always get it, full stop. <laughs> Give him what he wants, as long as he wants. Right. On me. Right? Ciao, Irishman. Ciao. <laughs> Night, Dave.
Well, well, I'll get that. Sod off. Look, I'm just a guy. Work my shift, kick the cat, and I wait all month to watch Georgie Bears play for the best club in the world and watch him fucking it all up. And it really fucks me off. Give me a chance. No, no, no. I'll get that. That's enough, Bears. Are you too good for my money? Is that what you're saying, Georgie? What? Fuck off. Mind if I call you Georgie? Fuck off. You fuck off. <laughs> Yeah? Where are you? George, I'm not coming back. Back to my flat. Our flat. My fucking flat! Listen, sweetheart. There's fucking paint over the bloody walls. You, you cut up every piece of clothing I have. You, you trash my furniture and then you call to see if I'm okay. Friend. Hey, George. I care about you, you know? And you need help, Georgie. Yeah. Are you listening to me? I don't need anyone's fucking help. You're all just people on a fucking train. <laughs> on a fucking train. And I'm not leaving back! Do you fucking hear me? I'm not leaving back! Okay, okay, there's nothing more to see. Back to the music, back to your drinks. Feeding time at the zoo is over. Come on, George, mate. Come on up. There we go. Back to your drinks. All under control. Andre. Stop. Seats of the lady. Usual bomb, all right? George, George, George. Not here. Now we're sane. Now we're calm. Look at my fucking eyes. Rocky extends his compliments. 
soft rocky. Where have you been? Told you. Your business. Broken hearts always pack a good left up, don't they? Beaver. Oh, for fuck's sake. That long shit she's with is a dealer. I fucking know it, Rocky. Oh, He's George. right in her bloody purse. George, George, fucking grow up, mate. He's a fucking Charlie, a hooray hippie. He's shagging her, all right? That's all, fucking shagging her. Now, be wise. Be smart. Fuck it, Rocky. Fuck nothing, George. Piss off. Gently. Come on, boys. Hey, 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 hey. Right. This ain't sweet nothing, sunshine. This is 100% balls of steel advice. If I see you around here again, you'll become even more of a memory. Got it? Now fuck off. Some fucking birthday this is, eh? Where's my wig? You're the bloody hell does he think he is? He's yeah, tanking yeah, up yeah. every chance he gets. Yeah, I, yeah. He's got beards dipping off him like snot. He's blowing suitcases full of bread on blackjack, roulette, the number of effing ice cubes in his sodding ice bucket. He swans in here like little old Fontenot, you know. Makes a few faces, throws a few shapes. And sods off for more of the same. Meanwhile, Bonehead here, yours too, lays up to his fucking neck at shitty nappies. And he's went in the club's arse with him. He's got no more than a fucking wife, and a pair of pins won't do as I told him anymore. He's the only one keeping us afloat this season. Yeah, when he's playing. This'll be his first turn out in six weeks. I thought it was matches he was suspended from, not fucking training. Well, he's been in no, and out, but... Sad. Yeah, right. Shagging blondes two at a time in the bloody kit room, Dennis, for Christ's sakes. Come again? Aye, exactly. And he's charging the apprentice kids ten bob a time to watch. Oh, fuck off. That's not Man United, Dennis. I want this bloody carry-on stopped, squashed. Pat, is this true? Let's mean the law man talk to him then. Pips and all. Squashed. Hide you the first time, Bobby. Oh, yeah. Where are my boys? In here. Hello, George. Yeah. Right, lads. Okay. Five minutes to kick off, huh? Oh, George, Jesus Christ, sang in your kit, will you? I know it's not fun to win against, but let's prove we're here to play ball here. Right, you 90s, come on. Let's be someone resembling manhood on the pitch this afternoon.
This exuberant staring at energy on a pitch is only matched by his will chronicled exploits of it. What a result, 8 2 to Manchester United, 6 by the truly remarkable, but. I'm away out. Army. Intentions of the Northampton 11 can't seem to bring this man down. And it's a record. George Best sets a club scoring record. Six goals in one match. Burn yourself, Bester. Go easy on the sauce, boy. I can handle it. You're not handling it. Not anymore. It's obvious to me. The dock, the club, even the fans. Think. I used to be a bright boy, Bester. No, no. That's the punchline, you know. Don't shite where you gotta walk. Well, that's a brick in it, Georgie. They see your shit all over the club. Fucking wives' tale, Paddy. Georgie, Georgie, my time here is done, eh? A lot of miles on the clock. I said I'd try and talk to you and find the Georgie I once knew. Listen, the next time Jordan has something to say to me, let him tell me to my face. Listen, Caesar, I'm no fucking Mark Anthony. What? I said I'm no fucking Mark Anthony. What the fuck has that got to do with the price of eggs? Ah, forget it. Forget about it. We're just saying, tone it down a bit, George. Keep it away from the club. Listen. It's Sir Robert over there. And people like him sticking their tuppence in. Climbing over the boss like an overeager whore. You should know better, no man. Well? Well, fucking what? Sir Robert. Come on! You bunch of headless chickens! Wake up! Ah, oh, Jesus, work at it! Keep it up! Ball control! Come on, Nobby, keep the ball close, son! Faster! Oh, come on, run with it! You're bunching up, spread out! Watch the spaces! Come on, keep control. I've been distracted. I see things are changing here. Uh, I'm moved back upstairs, son. It's not like it was. Look, I'm here. Come on, you're all over the ground, son. Keep it straight. I'm back. I'm staying here for the club. Why don't you build a team like you, like you did with Duncan Edwards? Around you. And me. I'm sorry, son. I'm not calling the shots anymore. I swear to God, he drops me one more time. George, watch my lips, you drop. I miss Monday, okay? Look, okay, so, like, sorry, mate. Maybe, maybe I miss Tuesday, too. You're drunk. I bust my arse on Thursday! You saw me! Conversation's over, son. You're dropped. 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 Why am I not fit to play? Why am I not fit to play? Because I can't let me see, let alone knowing that you're the boss. I'm the boss. There's only one boss. If I don't play today, I will never, ever play for this club again. Oh, put your shirt in the laundry basket on the way out, son.
Oh, sorry. Fiends. Place your bets, please, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. All in red, sir. Okay. No more bets, thank you. No more bets. Come on, George. This is boring. Never. Boring. Never. <laughs> always the fucking same. Always the losers. Never. Fucking boring. Never. All right, sweetheart. All right. European Player of the Year, 68. Writers Player of the Year, 68. Two-time league winner. European Cup winner. I capped 37 times internationally. I'm the best! I'm the fucking best! Okay, okay, let's just forget, all right? Take a deep breath and blow into the bag, if you would, please, sir. I don't do blowjobs. <laughs> Look, just blow into the fucking bag.
Mr. George Best, sir. You were scheduled to make a court appearance this morning at 9 a.m.? Did you hear me, sir? I suppose that's the nice way to put that. <laughs> Could you uh, open the door, please? George Best. George Neal. This is Gerald Soames. This is Gerald Soames. <laughs> I'm over here, you moron. We're going with some footage first. Georgie Baby, Georgie Baby, Georgie Baby. He's made no contact. And as I told you lads this morning, he knows where to find me. The door's there waiting for him. I'm not going looking for George Best. At this moment, George Best sits alone in his Chelsea flat just behind me. A warrant for his arrest is pending. The area is surrounded by the South London Constabulary. South London Constabulary and members of the press. The Northern Ireland International was due to appear at Bow Street Magistrates Court this morning. Instead, he's been here at his London flat. This unpredictable behavior, unpredictable behavior is becoming more and more a feature of the George Best lifestyle. This is Gerald Soames, ITN, Chelsea. <laughs> Coffee, lads. Oh, thank you very much. Any chance of any pictures? Spend my time drinking wine, feeling fine, waiting here to find the sign that I can understand. Yes, I am. In the days between the hours, ivory towers, bloody flowers, push their 